So I want to share with you something really morbid that really motivates me, especially recently. It's, it's made it so much easier for me to get back into my nightmare mode, like routines, study for two to three hours a day. Basically, don't do any negative things at all. So look at all these blocks right here. You're going to see some in red. You're going to see some in gray. Each of those blocks represents a month in my life. And those blocks right there, if I live to about 80 years old. And so you can see I've spent a lot of red blocks. So that, that's exactly pretty much how much of my time I've spent and how much time I have left. And what motivates me more than anything, and this is super morbid and you probably don't want to think about it, is my imminent death. And this sounds really morbid and it kind of is, but it can also be cheerful at the same time. But one thing that I did a lot in my 20s and even my early 30s is you feel like you have an abundance of time. So much time. And this is going to take me about five minutes to wrap up like always. So by all means, if you want to go click a Taylor Swift video, you're making the exact same mistake I'm going to make, I'm going to cover in this video. And that is the fact that you don't have time to really mess around. See, when you're 20 years old or even early 30s, it feels like you have an infinite amount of time and that you can always keep putting off becoming that person that you want to become. When you look at things like that chart, are you actually going to really think about the time you have left on earth? Suddenly you're going to start being reminded that you don't have a lot of time. Life is very, very short. And if you want to achieve that goal and become that person you want to become, you're going to realize it's going to usually take you about five to 10 years, a lot of effort, five to 10 years of just changing and becoming exactly that person and sticking to it. And the longer you wait to do that, the longer you really wait to get your life handled, the more of those blocks go away. And once you actually start to think about it, if you wake up every single morning and look at the amount of blocks you have left, if you wake up every single morning and think about really how it's going to feel to be 70, 80 years old and think about how far you are in your life right now. And usually if, if you're watching this video, you're probably between the age of 20 to 35. And if you think about all the time that you spent so far, you can see that you've actually spent a whole lot of the time wasting it. You've, you've basically woken up and said, oh, I'm just not going to work this day or I'm going to get drunk and be hung over and waste these days. And if you really think back about how much time you waste and then think about your death, not just thinking, oh, okay, I waste a lot of time, but then think, man, in about four more of those time blocks, if you're 20 to 30, let's take that 10 years and about four more of those 10 year periods, I'm, I'm going to be old. I'm going to be really close to death. I'm not going to be able to start a business. And I'm not saying you can't start a business at 50, 60, et cetera. But you also have to understand that there's going to be a 10 year buffer probably between you and becoming that person you want to be that really hardcore winning person. And you have to stay in that path for a long time until you think, man, you know, if I wait till 35, I'm not going to really get to enjoy being that person until I'm 45. And then when I'm 45, I really don't have that much blocks left. I have maybe 30, 35 years left and that's it. But that's literally just it. So then you need to think about, you know, how would I feel it? And I, I'm kind of taking this from a Tim Ferriss video that I'll link below, but you kind of have to look back and think about, you know, how, how much would I pay to get this day back when I was 70? You know, how much would I pay to get this time back? How much would I pay to go back in time when I'm 70 years old? Picture yourself being 70, 80 years old and think about how much would I pay to go back in time and, and be that winner person now? How much would I pay to go back and, and not waste those days, not waste that time? Because again, it's very finite. You don't have a long time. And that moment where you're going to be on your deathbed, that's, that's coming pretty quickly. Think about how fast five years went by in your life. Think about how fast 10 years went by in your life. It's going to go by that fast, even faster getting to that point. I can tell you from 25 to 32, it went by in the blink of an eye. And I really wish the times that I'd wasted, not working on the business I wanted to work on, not being as disciplined as I needed to be, I wish I could get those times back because then I could actually go and I'd be in a such better position right now and I'd have that time in my life to enjoy it. Look, if you go and become the person you want to be at 35, you're going to reach really that person, the points, so maybe when you're 45, that only really gives you 15 years until you're in the elder range to really enjoy that success in your life. You want to maximize that time where you've hit success and you're enjoying the fruits of your labor as soon as possible. So if you're 20, get disciplined now so that you can enjoy those fruits when you're 30. If you're 30 right now, like you need to get on the ball.
It is, you don't have time to delay. You don't have time to eventually get there. You don't have time to slowly walk into it. It has to happen now. It has to happen today. You can't keep putting it off. You don't have time. You don't have time because if you think about it and you don't, because a lot of people like to put death in some corner in their mind where they're not going to think about it. If you really think about how long you have till you die, it's coming fast. And you think that aging isn't going to happen to you. You think, oh, this is not this is going to happen to me. It's going to happen. It's, it's happening. You're along for the ride, and the roller coaster is going one direction, and there's no escape from it, and nobody on earth can escape from it, whether they're the hobo or Jeff Bezos. So that's all I wanted to say in this video. One thing that's helped keep me motivated is looking at those squares every single morning and, and remembering I'm not getting this day back. So you don't have time to lay in bed. You don't have time to play video games. You don't have time to go and get drunk and be hung over. You don't have time to waste a day. You don't have time not to do it right now. And I just wanted to remind you of that because that's something that super motivated me. Super duper motivates me every single morning. It reminds me that, hey, it's time to be the person that you need to be to hit those goals. There's no delaying. There's no doing it next month. There's no doing it after my birthday. It's time to do it right now. If you like videos like this and you found this useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because... What happens is every single week I make a post on YouTube that will give away two to $3,000 worth of courses on how to start a business, run ads, et cetera, copywriting. And if you've done those three things, YouTube's gonna make their algorithm put that post as a top priority and it'll only be up, and it'll only be up for three to four hours. So if you wanna see it, you gotta like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the next video.